everybody up in Baker District has, uh, we have nicknames for everybody. So one of mine's Tater, I, I guess because my last name's Tate. Well, working in Baker District, we have all types of uh, uh, crimes up here, but uh, the ones I like most are uh, catching car thieves and, and uh, car burglars. I mean, just it's just rewarding. I just saw this vehicle up here driving on 28th. It had a headlight out. I was going to get up behind it, and he uh, looks like he's trying to avoid me now. He's going southbound on McKinley. He's running stop signs already, and I hadn't even got my lights and sirens on yet, so he's definitely running from me. Baker 15. I got one running from me. Going eastbound on uh, 25th. Northbound on Loving from 25th. Coming up on 28th and Loving. Southbound Columbus. Southbound Columbus now. Turn around. Get air one. Westbound, Northwest 27th from Columbus. Where you at, 1600 Northwest. He's stopping, getting out. He's in custody, slow everyone down. We're uh, just south of 27th on uh, the next block from Tate's car. Oh, west. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see. What are you for? I saw Assault on what? A uh, person? Yes. A policeman? No, I don't think I know. I've never had anything wrong with the police ever. Really, it was just, just the thought of going to, I'm sorry. Oh. You been drinking tonight? No, sir. What do you say he's running for? You got a blue warrant? Uh, blue warrant. That was it. I mean, I wouldn't plan. I'm not buying. Guess what? Now you got more than that. Where's the vehicle? Right around here. Bikers are left turn in 15. Bikers are left turn. Yes, sir. My arm is like. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't. I didn't hit nobody or nothing. You tried to hit several cars. Okay. Well, what were you trying to do to get me stopped from chasing you or something? No. Yeah. Sir, man. I... Be careful. He's got. A needle cap. No, oh. sir. No, sir. Oh, God, lady boss. I, I think I wrote that car for six of the days. No, those are for ink as well. Which car is that? It's my, it's my dad's. What's his name? James. Oh, sir. You sure about that? No, I'm positive. We're going to go back to his car and make sure uh, it's not stolen. 
And the other officer over there, he's checking him for uh, his warrants, going to confirm on any warrants that he might have. See anything that looks suspicious so far? No, it doesn't appear to be stolen. We ran it and it's not coming back stolen. It's got the keys in it. Just the way he let it roll after he got out and ran on foot. I thought it might be stolen, but... Confirmed roll violation for attempted sexual assault. Good deal. That's, that's why he was running. So you know why we were chasing you now, right? Yeah, I guess so. All, you, all, all I was, was going to stop you for was a uh, headlight. Did you know that? My bright lights have been on for a month. But you got a headlight out. That's the only reason I was going to stop you. You probably got a ticket and been on your way. But if I had put my ID out, if I had to give you my ID. Huh? If I had to give you my ID, I was going to jail anyway. Well, but you'd, you'd have one less felony charge on you. Because now, now you're going for the sexual, original sexual assault that you had the warrant for, and now you got a felony evading charge. Hey, I don't have your rights, sir. I'm sorry. I mean, I ain't nothing I can do but just go ahead and take it. Yeah, well. Sometimes you gotta think before you act like that. I understand. Try to pull some over for a headlight and ends up being a sexual assault. Good catch. He's That's gonna have time to go back and uh, do tattoos in jail, right? He'll come back with a full body tattoo now. One of the things I really like, really enjoy doing, it's kind of a stress relief. I like to go deer hunting. Uh, my whole family, ever since I was, you know, old enough to carry a gun, but every year during hunting season, we all get together and go hunting together, and it's a kind of a male bonding thing as well as uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, on a suspicious person call, uh, evidently someone's been kicked out of a local bar, and they're supposed to be walking down the street, uh, causing trouble. Fox Five in area. I wonder if that's him. Yeah, let me talk. We won't get out and talk to him. Hey, dude, come here. Dude, come here. Let me see your hands. See my hand. Turn around. Turn around. Stop right there. Turn around. Stop Don't walk on around me. Turn around. Turn around right now. Turn around right now. That bar down there. It busted me in the mouth for nothing. Okay. That's fine, but you're not going to sit there and not do what I asked you to do. Do you understand? That's exactly right. Put your other hand behind your back. My dad's 10 cents. Put your other hand behind your back. I will. I will. Do it now. I will. It's as conveniently as I can. There's my, there's what they tried to rip off me tonight. That bar down there. They busted me in the mouth for nothing. I spent about three hundred ninety dollars. Just in don't get in my face, okay? Yes, I can sir. hear you just fine, yes, sir. sir. Do you have ID on you? Yes, what? Well, yes, sir. I do. And I do don't. you have anyone that can take you home? No, but I've got the cab. You are a cool, man. <laughs> Let's walk over here. Yes, sir. Out here, I want you to sit on the curb for a second. Do you have money for a cab? Yes, sir, I do. Have a seat. Okay. Will you stop pushing me? I haven't pushed you, okay? I mean, look, it bloodied my lip. Okay, that's fine. What cab company would you like? It don't matter. Just call what you want, you know? I had a date. I came down here. I mean, look at my lip. Five, I'm going in for you. No, look at my lip. He smacked me, man. <laughs> You're a cool guy. You are a cool man. You are a cool man. Me? Yeah, you, you are. Yeah, well, I appreciate you that. Are, you are a cool <laughs> Okay. How tall are you, mister? Six foot one. How much do you weigh? I weigh 214. I got hepto cellular carcinoma. I'm dying of cancer. <laughs> so I, I really don't have a lot of time for this. Can you walk over here? Yeah. I watch my language. He okay, is absolutely. Or 1178. Gonna cause some trouble in my club on that one. What'd he do? You name it, he did it. You tried to kick him out or what? Yeah, I kicked him out finally. Okay. I mean, he has been a nuisance since 12 o'clock. Yeah. Carl wants him to go to jail. They put on this. Okay. But do you want to come over here with me and we'll explain yeah. to him? 
This gentleman here is representative of the bar you were just at, okay? And per his manager, which is the owner, you are, you are now banned from the bar. We're going to cut you a break this time, okay? But we're not, so what we're going to do is going to catch cab and go back to the Marriott. That's what we're going to let you do. Just don't make any mistake about it, okay? If you come back on this property, though, they're going to put you in jail. I'm sorry. You will go to jail. No, sir, I don't. No, sir, I don't. Okay. It's my fault. It's obviously all my fault. Well, you ca your cab's here. Go ahead and stand up for me. Can you help me? Yep. Could you put your feet underneath you? Got it? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, hold still. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Spread your hands apart. Spread your hands apart. There you go. Hold still. I was a real jerk. I'm sorry. Cool, man. I mean, you know. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I okay. I'm sorry they brought you out tonight. That was a real we just saw him walking down the street. You know, somebody called and said he was walking down the street. Yeah. That's the one I called. That's the one we just threw out of the bar. Okay, that's that's what I figured, yeah. you know, and with his attitude and they everything. Come up the road kicking cars, kicking garbage cans over, running, just basically running his mouth. He jumped out of the cab. We tried to call a cab for this guy, and uh, he jumped out of the cab one block over and took off running. Peek in here. Cab looks like he's looking for him also. Put your cigarette out. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I'm just going home. Turn around. I'm just going home. What am I doing? I'm just going home. I'm just going home. Put your other hand behind your back. I wasn't doing anything. Put your other hand behind your back. You said go home, and I was going home. Put your other hand behind your back. Yes. Thank you. What am I doing? I'm just going home. You're under arrest. For what? For being stupid. I tried to cut you a break. I was. I was trying to catch a cab. I want you to have a seat on the ground right here. Sit down. Let's do it. Come Sit down. Sit right. straight down. I'm sitting down. There you go. Uh, what you want to do is you want to... We're just going to wait on a car. I was going home. You know? You know, really do what you got to do. Beat me down. Because I came in here with a date driving a Z28. I didn't cause no problem. I was spending plenty of money. And you've got the audacity to harass me. You attacked me. You attacked me, sprayed me. You big, bad, blue striped boy. You blue striped boy. You, you, you no Joe for nothing. OK, let's go have a seat. There you go. There you go. You're a nice man. I like you. Maybe we could uh, golf a few rounds. Where's the way? You ready to pet him now? Yeah. You sprayed me. You got down, didn't okay. you? Okay. I'll use address here for your address. Okay. At the bar. If he comes back any other night, you just call us and we'll oh, I'll be more escort happy. him out. That's for sure. All right. Hey, look here. I need one thing before you go. Okay. I, I need to know. Yeah. You can't give some people a break. Oh, well, I give them a break at the counter. Okay, 322. There's one in Cleveland. They just ran into Cleveland. We've got a white male, it's white the apartment. It's gonna be the apartment. Chasing We've got a situation where a uh, subject is built out of a car on a traffic stop. Uh, he's in an apartment up the street. We're going there to assist the officer right now who's in pursuit. It's going to be to your right, P. How far? Just take a right. Just right here. Right here. I'm around back, Tim. He didn't get out the back, so he didn't. Eight twenty-five in the front. We got in the back with three twenty-four. All units hold the traffic. What do you have? Twenty-five. We're going to the front now. 25 going in the front door. Turn around. Relax for me, all right? All right. You got anything on you? Oh, uh, no, I have to turn around. White male, what? Oh, white male. Whose knife is this, yours? Yes. OK. I... Who are you, man? OK, relax. <sighs> Just relax. there with you? Why don't you come downstairs? Can we go downstairs? Yeah. Hey, 
AF2 inside. What's your name, man? That's him. That's him? Right here? Yep, I'm right there. All right, why don't you stay right here for me? What's up? You good. What'd you run for? What'd you run for? Relax. Relax. You what? Put your hands behind your back. back. What did I do? Put your hands behind your back. What hands behind my back? What the do? You ran, that's what you did. I'm yeah, from police, man. Stop, relax, man. I'm relaxed, man. You have anything to poke me, sir? Hell no. What unit do you have back there with you? Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all got me confused. What's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony. I ain't did nothing. Okay. I ain't did nothing. You didn't run in here? Nah, man. Okay. What y'all talking about? Where you, where's your car? Police, man. Y'all Just relax. Relax, relax right man, all right? What'd you run for? I don't know, man. What are you talking about? Everybody was chasing you, man. Oh. They saw you run in there. Well, the guy with the yellow shorts, that's who they had, the party down. Are oh, you in front of the next 1176 today? Okay, thanks. Hello, 1176 or 1178. 184. Put him in this car. 186, he's already there. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the lot at yeah, uh, East 14th and Uni, and we'll call the wagon from there. That'll work. Stand by. Let's get him out of here. Um, apparently, he had some uh, narcotics in the vehicle. That's the reason why he uh, fled. Um, the officer tried to stop him. He ran into the apartment here. Um, we found him in the uh, upstairs apartment, one of the rooms. So we're going to the uh, vehicle now to uh, look at the narcotics he left inside. Hey, how you doing, Trace? 325. Oh, right here? Oh, okay. I just That's all right. Yes, ma'am. Can you start the wagon here? Anything right, else? Uh, East 13th in Cleveland. They get this individual out of here. This is right here in SO. And that's it? Yeah, that was that's it? All I have. Okay. I haven't looked really well. Just, that was just. Because this is what they, uh, the officer here found in the car after the, the, the individual bailed out. I don't know if anything else is going to be in there, but this is probably one of the reasons why he ran. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thanks. After he'd been apprehended, we uh, placed him in the back seat of a squad car. And uh, while we were out here trying to figure out everything, what was going on, he uh, ditched this underneath the seat of the squad car. That, uh, a lot of times people do that. They think that they're not going to be charged with it because they... Uh, go ahead and they sit down in the back seat of a squad car, they figure that's safe ground. But what we're taught to do is, is every time uh, every time we get somebody out of a squad car, we check the back seat. Push it on me, man. There's nothing put on you, sir. Nothing was put on you, sir. I didn't have no weed on me. I had nothing on me, well, man. Then what was in the back of the seat of this, this car when we get you out? I don't know, man. Y'all already had me cuffed up. You already had me, sir, had me cuffed no up. No one else is back seat of the car but you. Y'all already had me cuffed up. We don't, we don't plan anything, sir. Cuffed up, man. Y'all already had me up, Why don't you sit down and relax? Something that's now in custody. Uh, apparently, they found some uh, more uh, narcotics that he was stuffing in between the seats. Um, as you can see, he's getting a little aggravated, uh, basically trying to resist uh, going to jail at this point. We're basically trying to restrain him. The area around here is, is a decent neighborhood. Uh, we get a lot of community involvement with some of the drug dealing and trafficking that's going on. Uh, as far as the streets and the corners. So we've been pretty much on top of it or trying to stay on top of it for the last three or four years. Hey, where's 13 at? I don't know. They're, they're right here, but we can't, we're not going to transport this guy being like this. Yeah, oh. going to tell, hey, King. Hey, man, tell you, I ain't doing dog. I just wanted to let my girl know that I'm not going to pick up from work. Okay. And they play it. You got to relax, okay? Put the, man, she, how am I going to put relax. some weed in the back seat my hands are cuffed up? Okay. Huh? Just relax. We're going to get you out of here, but you're going to have to work with us. You got the eye, you the devil. You straight devil. Eyes of the devil. Eyes of the devil. I try to push, oh yeah, we found him. Come on, get real. Get real. You didn't find nothing. Get real. Get real. You have to relax, all right? I know, man. Why are you all trying right. to put it on me, though, man? You're not going to kick anything back, though, right, man? Just relax. Oh, all right, man. We're just, we're just asking you to relax. I'll see. Watch your head. Hold on. I want to come on with door. Bending up my hand. Oh, we got to get out of here, so get in and watch your head. Yeah, what are you looking at? You know, I'm like, get the out the bunch. Good job. I'll, uh, 
I'll figure out who he is when cool, we get yeah, we'll get, the deal. Okay. Let's just get him out cool, of here. Cool, yeah. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate it. He'll go for possession schedule one and possession schedule two, as well as uh, some traffic charges.